Hello, my friends. Um, today, I decided to tackle a topic that um, is a little outside the norm here. And the reason I chose to prioritize this is because when I start to see something affecting you guys mentally and emotionally, and therefore reflecting on a lot of our physical and big picture goals, I know it's something I want to jump into and discuss with you. So we're going to talk about Ozempic. And I'm going to give you the two-minute pitch on what Ozempic is. So if anybody is unaware of what's going on with this drug or why it's been this big kind of like lightning bolt in the weight loss and wellness industry, I'm going to give you kind of a two-minute catch-up. And then we're going to dig into the do's and don'ts around it. Okay. So very plainly, you have to understand that your body internally communicates mostly through hormones, right? That's how they, they talk through process. And Ozempic was a drug that was designed for type two diabetes patients. This is important because people that are diabetic or become diabetic struggle with producing enough insulin, um, to regulate their body's blood sugar. Okay. It's a really simple kind of process, but it's very complicated side effects if you're not having enough insulin produced. And what they realized is Ozempic was basically a drug that could mirror the hormone that is naturally produced in your body, but it could mirror um, that hormone. And so A, help tell your pancreas to produce more insulin, or B, if you're someone that is taking insulin injections, to basically make better use of that synthetic insulin as well. So whether you're, you're natural insulin or, or you have synthetic, it's, it's, it's telling your body, let's do better here so we can regulate these blood sugar levels. We can keep people from spiking in their blood sugar. We can keep them from gaining weight and we can put them in a very healthy pathway forward. What they realized were some valuable side effects to this drug. Now, first for reference, Ozempic, I believe, has been in the market FDA approved for a year, maybe two. Uh, that's not really my area of expertise, but um, I know it's been around for a while. And what we start to see is not only does Ozempic mirror this hormone that communicates to your pancreas, it, all, it also communicates to your stomach and it also communicates to your brain. And what it communicates to your stomach is to hey, say, hey, we're going to slow down digestion a little bit. So then your body takes a little bit more time to process the food. It has more time to get into the large intestine. And it tells you to basically rate, regulate the rate of what you're eating um, because it slows down your hunger um, levels. And then the same thing kind of happens in your brain. It signals to your brain, knock, knock, we're good. We're satiated. We have enough food here. And with these side effects, we're realizing, oh, wow, this could be a great thing for anybody that's struggling with weight loss, um, whether they're a diabetic or not. And I did see there was a study, I think that kind of blew the roof off the house and why this became so big was because we had um, two um, groups. One was on a placebo. The other one was on Ozempic. And by the way, it's really important to point out that they paired Ozempic with like a healthier lifestyle. So there was, you know, they weren't doing McDonald's every day, right? They were in a healthier lifestyle. So it's important to know that, that this is not a good, something to take just to fix bad choices and lazy de like food decisions. But the placebo only lost about 2% of their body mass, whereas the people that took Ozempic was between like 14 and 50% loss of their total body weight. So that's a pretty astounding figure, especially when it comes to studies and research. And that's when they saw, wow, light bulb, this could be really great for the community of people, which I believe now over 40% of the American population um, are in the obesity category. So huge. So this is where I come in as your, you know, your weight loss, emotional food coach. I started to see remarks around Rose oh, Zempic matriculate into my private group. And, and in our conversations, there was a lot of upset. And one particular person pointed out like, man, I have been working really hard. I've been doing my workouts and getting my steps and really thinking about my sleep and, you know, really focus on her goal. And someone she knows is taking Ozempic and that person is losing faster than she is. And she was upset and discouraged. So this is where we need to have the conversation today because the headline here 
is I want you guys to know that people do what they got to do to make their lives work. That's, 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 that's a baseline, whether it's Ozempic or something else, or like how they take their coffee, people do what they got to do to make their lives work. You have no idea what's in that person's life. Don't presume to know what's going on or why they make that choice. So there's two lanes of conversation. If you are someone that is choosing to take Ozempic because you want help with your weight loss, I do not want you to carry shame. I don't want you to, to feel like you're um, cutting a corner. I want you to know that this is something that the FDA is showing us as safe. We're showing it as working. And if you need that assistance, if you are someone that is like, man, I am really struggling to get this weight off, really get started, really find that momentum, I think it's perfectly okay if that's a choice that you want to make for you. I personally use collagen because my body produces less of it. And so I take it every day to help supplement. I use red light therapy to help with my ATP production and, and like healing and inflammation. I supplement things in my day all day long in order to support a healthier, balanced, harmonious gen. So if Ozempic for you is going to create solution, momentum, motivation, and pride in that weight loss, I want you to drop the shame around it and own it, but also make sure you're doing two things. Number one, as I said right at the beginning, don't get lazy with your food. Don't lean on a drug to fix your mistakes. Think about what you're eating. Keep your activity up. Keep connected to the healthy pillars in your life that allows the Ozempic to assist in what you're already doing, not replace it. That's number one. Number two, a lot of the times we hit the obesity category is because we're emotionally carrying some pain that we haven't processed and we tend to process and cope with food or alcohol or busyness and things like that. All three of those categories, whether it's food, alcohol, or stress, these are all three factors that encourage us to not only gain, but hold on to excess body fat that we don't want. So if you are using Ozempic and you are losing, please do not skip over the conversations that you might need to have with yourself or a friend or even a therapist to pursue some of the solution around why you're emotionally reaching for food in these situations. I am a trainer. I'm a size six. I'm relatively, I would say healthy all the way around. I emotionally eat. Guys, I go to Wendy's. I go to Taco Bell. I have a Cheeto stash in my cupboard. I emotionally eat, but I am very aware and I'm in pursuit of the reasons I do those things so that I have a hand on the wheel and I know why I'm going to those things. And so I'm not just eliminating uh, the emotion that's coming up with the food or alcohol or busyness, but I'm approaching it because if you can approach it and you go through it, you're able to dissipate it. And that's a really important thing. If you are on the other side of this line, if you are the woman in my group that is like, no, Ozempic is cheating. It's frustrating. And I want to do it this way. I want to do it without Ozempic. Then by all means, stick to that and do it. But if you're going to do that, you have to let go of judgment on what other people are doing and stay in your lane, stay rooted in your decisions and your choices and the things that you know make you happy and thrive. Who cares what someone else did to pass the test? Worry about passing your test. Worry about that because the energy comparing yourself to others because of the envy that you feel for what they're experiencing in their weight loss or their goals or their success or whatever is only going to take energy away from where you're trying to go. There is nothing wrong with either choice, but you can't compare yourself. You can't doubt yourself and you can't judge yourself or others. I think that anytime science provides us with a solution that can really help and it suits your life, your pillars and gosh, frankly, you know, the things that bring out what is the best and truest you, I don't see anything wrong with taking advantage of them. But if it's not for you, let it take its course and, and stay on yours. And also know that if any of you that are really against it, if at some point you want to change your mind, you can, <laughs> right? That's what life allows us to do. So I hope that this has created some um, informational clarity and also some emotional understanding of the people that are on either side of the line. 
because ultimately we're all here doing the same thing. Every health coach I know like me wants to see you guys succeed. And I know whichever side of the line you're on, we're all in a one big community that's trying to become healthier. And we definitely have times where we see ourselves and our peers and they're taking different routes than we are, but it doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's their route. Okay. Make sure you listen to this again if you need it. <laughs> I'll be back for more soon. I love you guys. Thanks for stepping in with me. I'll see you soon. Thanks for hanging with us and for being a part of our world. Be sure to head over to our website, smallthingsincommon.com and subscribe. But don't worry, we're not going to flood your inbox. We just want to keep you up to date with new episode releases and fun perks for being loyal listeners. Okay, bye.